It's getting there. Give dog cam. I posted a picture of the dogs on Twitter. See, he clearly wants to drink the coffee. He's a fan back there. The tongue's out, but I made this coffee. This is what we're going to be having today. Just like I'm going to be having a blast thanking my three-month subscriber for asking for a dog cam. Thanks very much, Haza. Look, they're busy. They're living their life. They have their own desires and wills, all right? <laughs> so this is what we're going to be drinking today. I made some cold brew. Tasty Steve bought me. You see this bag up here? Tasty Steve bought me coffee when he went to Columbia. Like, I don't even know how long ago. It was in November. Remember the TWT? So the coffee has been sitting there for a while. It's still good. Uh, it's probably not nearly as flavorful as it would have been if I made it a while ago. But I was so busy and then I moved and I had to buy a new mason jar which i got as a gift actually by someone who is incredibly amazing perfect right like i got this nice mason jar i can now make me some cold brew steeped it overnight and now i'm going to try this colombian coffee cheers to twitch oh my god it smells really good so i don't i've never had like um coffee that smelled this uh chocolatey it's like it smells super super chocolatey and i'm not somebody who wants like super chocolatey coffee all the time but the it smells super chocolatey and also i can smell like it's like super acidity or i can smell the acidity i guess i should say drinking it black yeah i always drink my coffee black unless there's like some kind of horrific desire why does the cup look blue on my webcam i don't know but it's that i mean it's a twitch cup you can imagine what color it is it smells so good oh man Ask me about my white balance? No. Ask me about this lovely coffee. Man, I can't wait. The smell is so good. I can't wait to try it. So the thing is about cold brew is that I've... My sheets are blue. They're not purple. The thing is about cold brew is that you have to steep it overnight. And, well, it takes usually about 8 to 12 hours is for what they recommend. But you should steep it longer depending on the kind of coffee you have and whether you like it or not. So I steep this for probably about 10 hours. And I'm, I'm not going to take it out yet because I don't know if this is good or not yet. If it needs to be more concentrated or if I should take the filter out because right now it's it's fantastic. I have this this uh, mason jar's beast. Mm, that's pretty good. I think I should leave it in there a little longer. It's probably not quite strong enough yet. It's really good though. It's kind of, it's kind of acidity. All right, I can taste like the acidity in it, and I can taste the chocolatey taste too. It tastes pretty good. You know what's funny about this Colombian coffee is that he bought me three bags. So I picked up three. He got three bags, right? And all of them, I was like, so there's this one, this little gold bag. I haven't brewed this one yet. The one I brewed had a parrot on it, and I thought, well, that's a cute parrot. I should brew that coffee. And then there's this one as well. Right? This is like a black bag with like flowers and stuff on it. Um, My problem, all three of these, right? This guy, Steve, bought me coffee and I was like super excited about it. All three of them are like chocolatey tasting coffee. And I was like, man, they're all three different brands, three different like roasts. And they're all three chocolatey tasting. I was like, I wonder if Columbia just really loves chocolatey tasting coffee. I have no idea. He gave me ground coffee, which is not coffee that's already made. You still have to, you know. Hmm, it's pretty good though. Yeah, it's pretty smooth. It needs a little bit more time, I think. But uh, overall, not a bad first batch. I'll tell you what. Yeah, the dog definitely wanted. They were, dude. I pulled out the jar, right? It's a, it's like a gallon jar. So I pulled out the jar, and I was like, pull, like you know, going to set it on the counter. And the dogs cracked me up because one of them, not the one there, the other one loves anything that has condensation on it. They just lick it. So he's just like licking this jar. I have this giant glass jar. And I'm like trying to navigate it to the table. And he's just licking the jar. And I'm like, I cannot drop this. This is a gallon of coffee that I've made. And there's going to be glass ever. I was like, oh, God, I cannot mess this up. And the dog's like attack mode after it. I was like, oh, Jesus. You know that mason jar is going to be labeled in bath water in the VOD? It's not true, YouTube. I promise. <laughs> Don't believe him. Did I mix boba in there? Somebody banned that guy. What's my ratio of coffee to water? So there's different recommendations um, in this jar about how much coffee to put in. It's a gallon. So I was filling it up all the way with water. 
essentially right up until like a certain point so when you drop the filter in, it doesn't overflow the thing is is that i saw somebody recommend putting in four cups of coffee and i saw somebody recommend like two cups of coffee and the guy who said four cups said his is way too strong after a few days so he pulled it out sooner the filter and so my thoughts were well i'll start with two cups and if i should put more in i'll put more in next time right so maybe next time i'll try three cups of a different coffee and see how it is yeah it's cold brew it's really man it's really good and it's actually quite smooth it's like very easy to just drink and there's no coffee grounds in there which is a good sign the filter's holding up it's really good it's good for like a week yeah the, you, they recommend about a week is how long the cold brew stays good so i'll probably brew a new cold brew next monday i have some more i obviously have more beans and stuff i'm gonna order a bunch of new stuff and i think i'll start trying it and seeing what what works what hits the spot let's replace the word coffee with bath water and this is a very interesting pre-stream you guys are obsessed has anybody ever told you that it's true it was a gift from tasty steve actually he came to me i believe it was at capcom cup he came to me and was like yo i got your coffee bro and i was like what <laughs> because like it's not like i asked for coffee when he went to columbia you know and i was like all right well sure yeah what do you got for me and then I, he hooked it up and i was like oh my god this shit is gangster so yeah it's really good trial and error is the strategy here but the first batch is good this is batch number one the brand of coffee i have no idea i'd have to look i took a picture of the coffee a while ago but it's in spanish so i don't even know coffee complete i need next time for sure Two adjustments that need to be made to the batch one it needs to be in there longer which that one's fine it's sitting in there right now so it's just going to be more and more second one is i think i should add an extra cup of coffee three cups might be good it needs to be a little stronger i think 